Hi you guys, happy Valentine's Day. Today is currently Sunday for my time and Grant and I are celebrating our Valentine's a little bit early. It's just easier to like A, get a reservation on a day that's not actually Valentine's Day and we get so busy during the week that we just decided to have a fun little romantic date night tonight. So I'm about to start getting ready. One thing about me is I absolutely hate being rushed. I do not like feeling rushed. I do not like being rushed. And so it, since it is Sunday, um, I have, I took a shower earlier today and have just like been letting my hair like air dry. So my hair is like pretty much mostly dry. So um, we are gonna, our reservation is at six, I believe. And it's like 4.30 or something right now. So I'm gonna take my sweet precious time getting ready. And I thought it would be fun to film and get ready together. And um, I'm gonna show you my outfit and all that fun stuff. So first things first is I'm going to blow dry my hair. And I think I'm just gonna do a Velcro roller here for a little bit of volume. Um, because I think I'm gonna end up curling my hair with a curling iron, so I'm not gonna Velcro roller my whole head. This Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil has been my favorite hair primer and protectant for years. Not only does it smell good, but it makes my hair so shiny and keeps it nice and healthy for whenever I put heat on it. I'm just gonna brush this through. I actually made a haircut appointment last week and it's for March because my hairdresser travels a lot. And so whenever I like make an appointment, I always just kind of expect it to be a second, but my hair has gotten quite long considering what it used to be. And I'm honestly really loving the length. So I think when I get it cut, I'm not gonna get that much length taken off, um, but I just wanna like freshen up like these, like my layers. And I always get asked like what I ask for when I get my hair cut. And uh, I feel like my answer is like really underwhelming because I literally just like ask for light layers. And I've gone to the same hairdresser for a while now. So I just pretty much sit down and he just kind of does it. Um, and then I get like a couple of highlights. It's been like six months since the last time I got my hair done. Um, and my highlights are just like really super natural. Like my hair is naturally pretty brondy colored. Like when I was younger, it was really blonde. In the summers it gets lighter. In the winters it gets darker, you know? So anyway, um, I always get asked about my haircut and I feel like I never like really know what to say because I just kind of, I love my hairdresser and he always does a great job so I, I trust him wholeheartedly. So let me blow dry my hair real quick and be right back. dry. I'm going to hit it with some hairspray. This is the Kenra Volume Spray, uh, number 25. Okay, and now I'm going to start on my makeup. Um, my face is clean. I'm going to put on a little primer and moisturizer real quick. This is the primer I've been using. I got it at an influencer event for the brand Exa. Exa Beauty is the oil-free hydrating face primer. Okay, and this is a little sample I have of the Bobbi Brown Enriched Eye Base. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this under my eyes. Okay, some of that definitely went in my eye, but we're feeling okay. <laughs> okay, first I'm gonna start with the eyebrows. Don't look too closely at my eyebrows. I know they need help, but I'm just not a big eyebrow enthusiast, if we're being honest. Um, I just lightly fill them in. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil in the shade Soft Brown. And everything I'm using, I have linked in my Like to Know It. I have like a beauty collection and it's probably on my Like to Know It too. And then I just comb this out with a spoolie brush. Okay, this dang tripod um, is a really cheap tripod. <laughs> I try to use it for the ring light because I let me know if you think it's like is the lighting better with the ring light or without the ring light. This is with the ring light. Oops, that's not the right tone. Is that tone better? This tone? Okay, so here's no ring light. And then here's a ring light. And I can change the colors of it. This one might be better. We'll keep it on that for now until it falls over again. Okay, this is the foundation I've been using. It's not my favorite, but like it works and I can get it from a drugstore. 
Um, it's the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte in shade 105, which is natural beige, which I only use when I have self-tan on. So I know it'll look a little funky on camera in the beginning, but once I blend it out and blend it in with my neck, it will be fine. Um, I'm no beauty expert at all, but this is just what I find works for me and I like it. So, so if you're new around here, Grant and I have been married for almost going on three years. We got married in 2020. We graduated or I graduated in 2020 and then we got married and then Grant did another year of grad school. Oh, there's the vent. Hold on. And, you know, if you want to read about like our whole story, we moved several times. And anyway, we've been in Dallas uh, about a year, a little over a year now, and we'll be here for another year. And then honestly, who knows after that, <laughs> life is so unpredictable. But I often get asked like, do you feel like you got married too young? And because I was 21 when I got married and honestly, I know people who've gotten married younger than that. Um, but the answer is no, <laughs> I don't have any regrets. I think, um, I think when you find that person, it, like why, why wouldn't you want to get married? I know we were fortunate to be in a situation where we, where we were like financially like able to have our parents help with the wedding and stuff like that and be able to make ends meet and have it all work out. I understand that's not always the case for everyone. Um, but I always say, you know, if Grant and I would have met at 30 years old, 40 years old, you know, that would have also been the perfect timing, you know. Um, I had never really had a super serious boyfriend. Um, I never dated anyone in college until I met Grant. And when I tell you, like, the moment we met, <laughs> I was like, this is the person I'm supposed to be with. It, I had never had that feeling with anything else. It was just, like, deep inside. And, of course, it was, like, at a time in my life where I was so happy being single. Like, my little sister in my sorority, she... Um, we had gotten coffee and she, I think, had gone through something with a guy and they had broken up and I was just like, you know what, you you can't waste time thinking about who you're going to be with and whatever, whatever, like you're in college, you're surrounded by all your friends, like enjoy being single, enjoy being with your girlfriends, whatever, whatever, because I was telling her like, I am so happy being single, like I was a junior in college and I, I never expected to find my husband in college and... You know, right when I'm like so happy being single, doing my thing with my girls, I meet Grant and I was like, this was not what I had planned. <laughs> like, I thought I was supposed to meet you after college. But the moment I met him, I was like, I really love this guy. I had never, you know, been in love before. Obviously, I was so young. How could I have been? Um, but I remember my dad just kind of talking about it all with me. And I remember him saying, you know, marriage is one of the biggest risks you're gonna take. Like, it's it's gonna be a gamble, <laughs> no matter if you're 21 or if you're 31 or if you're 41, 51, like, it's always gonna be a big risk you're gonna take. You don't know what's gonna happen in life. Like, you, you don't know, but when you find a person and you're like, man, we line up on so many levels and you know, he's crazy about me, I'm crazy about him. We've just been making it work. Like we are like a thousand percent com committed to each other. And um, you know, we just, we make it work. And like, I love him five million times more than the day I met him, which is crazy because I always had so much love for him but yeah I know a lot of people look down on you know getting married too young and I regret getting married young and getting married young whatever whatever but in the midst of it like when I was planning a wedding and getting married not once did it cross my mind oh I'm getting married young like I never <laughs> considered myself like a child bride like I was just like oh I'm 
getting married. I mean, I had friends who were engaged, about to get engaged. One of our friends uh, got married right before we did um, and we're our same age or whatever. But, you know, you just gotta see where life takes you, you know? You have to take chances and it, sometimes it might seem so crazy to the outside world. And I know a lot of things I do probably seems crazy to the outside world. I mean, I can't believe that making YouTube videos is part of my full-time job. I mean, that's just crazy. If you would have told me that three years ago, I would have been like, you're insane. And, you know, I think God's timing is perfect with everything. And, um, I think, I don't know. So, so many thoughts with that. And I know I don't need to defend myself and whatever, but I'm just like, I always, always see people asking that question. Like you got married so young, like, don't you regret it? And I'm like, I no, I, I don't regret it at all. <laughs> like, I've never been happier. I cannot imagine my life without Grant. Like, it's crazy that there was a point in my life where I didn't know him. Like, that's just crazy to me. Every day I'm like, wow, I'm so grateful. Like, I found my person so early. I mean, it's such a, a blessing. I know not many people find their person as early as I do. And it's hard, the dating life out there, the dating apps and everything. I mean, I hear it from my friends, like it is a struggle. Um, do you like my technique that I'm doing here with my contour? I'm trying to get my neck <laughs> to match my body. We're just gonna blend it really well right now. I will get off my soapbox now. Grant is my best friend and, and I'm so crazy about him. And he takes such good care of me and of Remy and our um, our sweet little family, and I just feel like he deserves some cred because he's awesome, and I love him so much, and I'm so glad that he's my valentine. Okay, on to blush. I really want to get a cream blush because that seems to be all the rage these days. I've really gotten on beauty TikTok lately, and I am just, like, have an ongoing list of, like, okay, when I run out of this, I want to get a cream blush to layer underneath this or whatever, whatever. Um, but I also just simply will not waste a single ounce of anything. <laughs> and so, um, like I said, like I make myself like use up whatever I have before I, I buy something else to replace it. So I also, someone asked me the other day for an eyeshadow tutorial. So if that was you, this section of the video is for you. I normally don't include my eyeshadow because I think it's boring, honestly, but okay. I use both these naked palettes. I don't think you can get them anymore. I'm sure they're discontinued. I've had them for like, I don't know, five, six years. Um, and I just pretty much work my way down the line, if that makes sense. So I start with the lightest shade and do that all over my lid. And then I'll like mix it with this one. And you know, I, I do this different every time I do it, but the gist of it is I put light all over the lid and then I just warm it up with like some neutral tones on the outer part of my eye if that makes sense um so we do that and then I'm gonna go in and like I said just keep going down the line we're gonna go in with this naked shade and just warm up this outer area of my eye I have pretty hooded eyes I'd say and I never really know how to do them, but I watched a YouTube video one time using like these palettes and like how to do it when I was literally probably 15 years old and I've just kind of recreated that ever since I saw that YouTube video. And I think I found that video when I was getting ready for my senior like high school prom. And I was like looking at makeup looks and like what I wanted to do. And honestly, I remember my makeup turning out fire. Like I look back at those pics and I'm like, dang, I really knew what I was doing. Like, how do I do that? Okay, sorry, going down the line, literally. <laughs> and I just like get darker and darker and like tap that on the outside and then bring it in a little bit. Lots of this motion. Um, and I might do like a little bit extra cause it's date night and I wanna be 
sassy, but I, I don't ever want to look like a clown. So for me, I'm like, less is more. I can always start with a little and then build it up. But okay, so there we go. And then I always go back to that lightest one and I go right under my eyebrow. Again, this was part of that tutorial that I watched in, I don't know, 2015 probably. Do a little bit of that and then put that light color in the corner of my eye. And voila. Okay, I'm thinking like this looks fine. I might like, again, just go down the line to a darker shade. Um, just to kind of deepen the darkness of my eye. And we're just going to blend this out. Grant took Remy to the park so I could have some time to get ready in a quiet house, which is so wonderful and sweet of him. However, I think I just heard them coming up the stairs. Yep, there's the door. Okay. Well, they're back now, but I have the door closed, so I should be fine on that front. Okay, I'm just gonna finish blending this out and we're gonna call that a day. That looks fine. And then, okay, so now off camera I'm gonna do my eyeliner. I use, not that, I use the Stilla Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I have repurchased this a bajillion times over. I just love it so much. It's so easy to apply and so easy to like fix if you mess up. So let me put this on real quick. Okay, just did eyeliner and now I'm going to curl my lashes before I do my um, mascara. Tonight for dinner, we're going to DL Max. Did I already say that? Um, it's our favorite. <laughs> I told Grant to surprise me. I told, I'm usually in charge of the reservations because I, I like have an ongoing list of restaurants I always want to try. And I just like, I'm really passionate about making a good reservation. And anyway, I told him, I was like, Valentine's day, this is all you, you know, I'm not picky, whatever you want to do is fine with me. And he made the reservation and he's like, do you want it to be a surprise? And I should have just let it be a surprise, but I also kind of know what, what it is so I can like, you know, plan ahead, know the menu. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. The honey truffle chicken pizza is just like the best thing in this world. Like I love it so much. So we're definitely getting that. Grant's gonna need to take a shower soon. So I am wrapping up here. This is just some lip plumper, um, Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Okay, so this is looking good. Um, I'm gonna wait for my mask. While my mascara dries, I'm gonna put in a couple of curls. <clears throat> I've had this Hot Tools curling iron for forever. I love all of Hot Tools products. So this is the one and a quarter inch. I also have this length in my life to know it. If you go like in my hair, hair beauty and hair collection in my LTK, it's like all in there and just put in a couple of curls here and I think I already know what I want to wear it's a little bit warm today in Dallas that I was, I was not really expecting that but I think I'm still gonna be able to wear what I want to wear I have this sweater dress that I got and when I got it I was like oh this will be perfect for Valentine's Day because it'll be a little bit cold because it'll be February and then it's not that cold but I think it will get colder as the sunsets i mean i think the high is like 65 and the low is like in the 40s so it should be fine i shouldn't get too hot i'm always worried about getting too hot in like every situation because i am prone to like fainting grant unfortunately has experienced that in the past and would not like to experience that again but it's just because my blood pressure is so low and um so it, it is a struggle it does run in my family my sister and my brother are both fainters maybe both brothers i can't remember i'm one of four if you were in you i'm the second of four okay let's take this out this adds a little volume a little zhuzh 
And then we'll just curl these pieces a little bit more. Everything with a little bit of hairspray. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit looking crazy and then I'm gonna like fluff it out a little bit, but let me curl my eyelashes again and um, do my mascara. I always do like, I don't know, like five coats of mascara. Like I put it on until I'm out the door. Um, but it's just because my eyelashes are long but extremely straight and they don't curl i have considered getting a lash lift not a lash lift is that what it is when they curl them a lash curl this is my bobby brown eye opening mascara i think since it is date night i'm gonna add a little bit of this this is the shade smog it's like gold and do it right under here i mean i wouldn't call this a smoky eye by any means but i don't know it makes it a day look day makeup look look a little more nighttime if that makes sense okay so there we go with that and let me just touch up eyebrows a little bit all nighter setting spray and then i dab this in with my beauty blender Okay, and then my lip combo is the usual. This is Bobbi Brown's Blondie Pink. That This is the end of one of my mini bottles that I'm just putting on with a little lip brush. And this is the Booksome shade in Dolly. I need to get more of this. I love it so much. This was like in a holiday sample set. It's just the perfect shade to go on top. Okay, so we are pretty much done here. I'm sure I'll add more layers of mascara and I'll keep my curling iron plugged in just in case I want to add it to throw in a few more curls before we head out the door. But let's go and pick out our outfit. Here is the dress. I grabbed it from Zara when Zara was having a sale. I got it for like 30 bucks. Okay, this tripod is going to be the death of me. It keeps falling over. But I wanted to wear it with these boots. These boots are from Schutz or Schutz. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, I love them so much. I love like a brown and pink combination. But I think they're so cute. And then I think I'm going to pair it with this Amazon tortoise clutch that is pink on the inside. I don't think I'm going to use the chain. I'll save that for later. So I'm going to put my lip gloss and I think my phone will fit in here and be off. I am going to fix these curls in my hair um, before we leave. But thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know if you like these kind of get ready with me types of videos. They're definitely easier to do on my end um, just because it doesn't take up a whole day. But you know, I'm always love love a good vlog and i'll be back on my vlogging game next week so be sure to subscribe like this video leave a comment let me know what you did for valentine's day or what you are planning to do for valentine's day and i'll see you guys in the next video